I am Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the most difficult questions on limits. I like your full attention while going, going through this video and I hope you appreciate it. We have two similar questions here. The first one is limit when x approaches minus infinity for square root of x square plus 2x minus 1 divided by x and here we have limit x approaches positive infinity for x plus 2 divided by square root of x square plus 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now before moving forward, I would like you to answer one question and that is, what is square root of x square equal to? Most of the students write this as x. It is not actually x. It is always a positive value and therefore it is absolute value of x. Now that is key to answer this question. You can look into my videos on square root of x square and understand it better. Right? So, so that's important to understand. Square root of x square is absolute value of x. Okay. Now, let's continue. So, in the very first case, as we did with most of the questions where x approaches infinity, we'll factor out x square, right? So, we have the function limit x approaches minus infinity within square root. I'm going to factor x square. So, we're left with 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 over x square, correct? Divided by x. Now, we have x approaches minus infinity. What is square root of x square? Absolute value of x, right? So let me write absolute value of x. And within square root, I'm left with 1 plus 2 over x plus, I mean, minus 1 over x square. Is it okay? Divided by x. Now, as x approaches minus infinity, what is the value of absolute value of x? This is another very critical thing to understand. Absolute value of x is defined as x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x when x is less than 0. Perfect. So you have to review and apply these concepts while working on such questions. And that's why this is one of the best examples on limits. We are combining a lot of our learnings at this stage. We are approaching minus infinity. That means we are working on this direction, less than zero. Absolute value of x is negative x. So when approaching minus infinity, what we get here is minus x for absolute value of x. And within the square root, if I write x as a very large number, all these numbers are zero. So basically it's one plus zero minus zero divided by x. Do you understand? So, so when you're approaching minus infinity, let me write uh, limit x approaches minus infinity. In that condition, these values are approaching zero. Absolute x is approaching minus x. And then what do we get? Minus x divided by x is minus one. Do you see that? So we get our answer for this limit. It is equals to minus one. Avanil Kumar and I hope that this solution helps you to understand the concept. So two important things which we have to take care of is square root of x squared is absolute x. And when x approaches minus infinity, absolute value of x is minus x. Correct? i like you to pause the video, answer the next one. We'll follow the same technique. We can write this as limit. x approaches infinity. Numerator is x plus 2. Denominator will take x squared common. So we get 1 plus 1 over x squared. Perfect. Now, this could be written as limit. x approaches infinity. Numerator is x plus 2. And what is square root of x squared? Absolute value of x. Correct. Absolute value of x. And within square root, we have 1 plus 1 over x squared. 
Now for a very large number, x is very large as compared to 2, I could write this as x over absolute value of x for positive is x, correct? And here we have square root of 1 plus 0. So what do we get here? x divided by x is 1 and therefore this limit is 1, correct? So that is how you could get limit when x approaches a large number minus infinity or plus infinity for functions which involve square root of x square. I hope this concept is well taken. I am Anil Kumar. You can look into my videos by typing in Anil Kumar limits or square root of x square to get few more examples like this. I hope that helps. You can always write your comments, share your views. And if you like, you can like my videos. Thank you and all the best.